Welcome back to GB Guns, and today we've got another car for you. This one in 45 and with the tungsten Cerakoting on it. Coming up next on GB Guns. So the box does its job, it gets you the gun in one piece. And as we padded, we do have uh, a full instruction manual and uh, some other literature in here. Car, if you didn't know, is part of the same family as the Thompson Firearms. Uh, so, there's some crossover there. Here's the gun. Uh, we get one magazine in it and a lock. Make sure there's not anything else in there. Oh, looks like just the lock. Nice small lock. Get the gun out of the packaging and let's take a look at it. So here is our CM45 in tungsten and it came with one of these rubber grips. First of course we'll show clear. Magazine injection, decent. Kicks it out, that's what it needs to do. Single stack, check the chamber, chamber is clear. Now we can take a look around the gun. Starting up front, the business end. Everything fits nice and snug, you can see the rifling there. Nice clean underside. Do have a bit of a bezel here to help with, or bevel, sorry, to help with reholstering. This shape here along the trigger I thought was interesting until I realized what it does. Basically it keeps the profile of the trigger guard slim, but still allows room for the trigger to pass through without scraping or without pinching your finger. It's a nice flat face to the trigger, very comfortable in the hand. Controls easily within reach for my hands. Do have some stippling, of course the rubber adds in shock absorption and in traction. Grip on the back, slider frame fit, rock solid. Three dot sights. And coming around the right side of the gun, no controls. Pretty sharp looking, feels good in the hand, it's a decent size. Let's take a look inside the gun. So to disassemble a car, we're going to move the slide back a wee bit until that cut there lines up with a tab that we can't see at the moment behind the slide release. Lines up there, you can see in there, there you go. All right. And then we got a tap on the pin on the back side with a non-marring hammer. We got a rubber, rubber hammer here, there we go, it popped loose, now you can see that tip a little better, and it looks like I'm going to need something to pry up. There we go, with that pin out you let the slide ease forward and pull the trigger and the slide comes off. There we go, I don't know what the trouble was there. Remove our recoil assembly. Notice it's a steel guide rod, props, and our barrel. So looking first inside the slide, the Cerakoting makes it difficult to look at actual machining, but it looks pretty clean. Now this is of their economy line, so they've uh, minimized machining that required on the slide. There are a few MIM parts where it doesn't really matter, like for example the slide release. Uh, that helps keep the cost down to keep these as affordable as they are. Here's the frame. Pretty simple inside. And we'll take a look at our barrel. Nice polish there on the feed ramp. Let me get something to clean this up. Obviously they test fired it. There we go. That's a pretty piece of metal, folks. It's nicely machined. We'll check for chamber support. Our chamber support round is a Fiocchi 45 ACP 230 grain. It's in, and you can see 
supports it all the way around which is excellent now we'll reassemble by reversing the disassembly process and take a look at that trigger pull I'll do the reassembly off camera to speed right, so things up. The trigger up. pull on these is a long double action style check clear it's very consistent and smooth I couldn't tell when it was going to break which is excellent the reset is quite long but then pulling again is really smooth you know we discovered these thanks to our friend uh, Dan Abraham the firearm guy great channel if you haven't seen it go check it out um, he's a big fan of these and I can see how shooting these quickly can uh, can be learned with a trigger like that to check our pull got our lime gauge five pounds eleven ounces six pounds twelve ounces strange to have such a variance maybe I'm not pulling on the same spot of the trigger five pounds eight ounces so that's the, the correct one the difference there folks was if I was pulling up high versus low the amount of leverage it has but this shape makes your finger move toward the, towards the bottom that's probably part of what makes it so smooth so let me know what your thoughts are if you know anyone that owns one uh, or if you've had one yourself your experiences and uh, if you like these or not I like the tungsten color I know it seems to be what everybody's doing now I um, think it makes for a good looking gun you do only get one magazine it has a bit of a pinky rest here with a little too much edge it kind of cuts into my pinky but I have large hands so maybe this is more appropriate for someone with smaller hands and that of course is part of why we have Erica on the show because her take on this gun will be totally different than mine most likely we'll get it out to the range as soon as we can and let you know our thoughts thanks for watching hey thanks again for watching GB guns if you made it this far I'm assuming you like our format or you're trying to figure out how to make some angry argumentative comment and uh, start up an argument down below that's cool click the giant griffin to subscribe we've got a patreon page set up now that's where stuff gets published first it goes up there while I wait for manufacturers to okay things or uh, maybe I'm fine-tuning it so if you want to see behind the scenes it's on the patron page over here is a link to a video that YouTube assumes you're gonna like based on stuff you've watched I don't know if it's any good you tell me and down here is the playlist affiliated with what you just watched we do have lots of playlists that's where everything's organized so if there was something in this video and you're saying hey where's the shooting or where's the tabletop or oh I didn't know about check the playlist that's where it's going to be so once again thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video